Musician and producer Will I Am made a wearable computer. Seriously, he did. It's called a Pulse, and it's one of the worst things I've ever reviewed. The Pulse is a big, ugly, plastic bangle-shaped wearable. The key difference between the Pulse and Android Wear smartwatches and the upcoming Apple Watch is that it doesn't need to connect to a phone, because it is a phone. Yep, you can make and receive calls from your wrist with it. The Pulse is one size only, and even on my skinny wrist, it hurt wearing it. I'm not exaggerating when I say it feels like a handcuff. There's an additional spacer module to widen it, but even that's not enough for bigger bone peeps. Navigating the Pulse is done through swipes on the 1.7 inch touchscreen, which by the way, is not very bright. It's also prone to nasty reflections on its curved surface. A swipe in from the right brings up the home screen overlay with three jumping points, apps, notifications, and Anita, the smart voice controlled personal assistant. Anita's like Siri. What day is Valentine's Day? but without the clever personality. The Pulse has your basic phone features, like a phone dialer, contacts, messaging, email, calendar, music player, clock, and maps. And then there's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. These are arranged vertically, and you can scroll through them, but it's so irritating because it's so easy to open the wrong app. The worst part about the Pulse's software is its typing experience. It's a real nightmare. When you need to enter text, a tiny QWERTY keyboard appears on the already tiny screen. Nobody expects you to be able to actually peck at the tiny letters. You simply tap close enough and pray the letter you intended to press gets enlarged so you can select it. You're better off using dictation though. It's mostly accurate and you won't spend all day pecking at the screen. Will I am, what were you thinking? There are some good things about Will I am Shackle. Anita's really good at answering questions, making and receiving calls is pretty decent, Instagram on your wrist is pretty cool, and you can pick from 94 ringtones. If anything, the Pulse is a lesson on how not to design a wearable. In no way is it worth $400. One thing to note is that you can't just go into a store and buy the Pulse. Similar to Google Glass's Explorer program, you have to be invited into the Make It Great program from Pulse's website. If you're selected, then you can throw your $400 at Will.i.am's company and pay for AT&T service.